my name's Rachel from Corbett Community Library and today I'm going to read Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam, The Diamond Chase. The book is by Tracy Cordroy and illustrated by Steve Lenton and it's published by Nosy Crow who give permission for us to read this today. Once Shifty and Sam used to sneak out and rob but robbing, they learned, was a terrible job. So Shifty and Sam chucked their swag bags away and now they are bakers, I'm happy to say. They bake for posh hot parties in grand houses too, where only the jammiest donuts will do. Oh wow, whispered Shifty, it's Warfington Hall. Was decked out with sparkles for Lady Kate's ball. She swept down the staircase and there on her head, her birthday tiara, Will Diamond, Sam said. Come on, Shifty nudged him, Sam let's go bake. She can't have a birthday without any cake. So down in the kitchen, they rolled and they sliced, they whisked and they whirled and they patted and iced. But Lady Kate's nephew just wanted to play and Barnaby simply would not go away. He booted his ball. Quick, Sam, catch it, he cried. But Sam gave a squeak. Mind the cake, he replied. They took up the food to tremendous applause Oh, yummy, beeped Scotty Dog, rubbing his paws. He tucked in his napkin and plate at the ready. So one bun for me and one bun for Teddy. Hold on, cried the rover. Not yet, giggled Rose. I think Lady Kate's gone to powder her nose. They waited, all hoping she wouldn't be long. But then she came back. They knew something was wrong. A thief, she exclaimed, at my party, she sobbed. My diamond tiara has gone. I've been robbed. The whole room fell silent. Don't worry, Sam said. We've caught thieves before. Shifty nodded his head. You have? Lady Kate brushed away a big tear. Then follow me quickly. Thank goodness you're here. She hurried them out to the scene of the crime and said, I was fluffing my hair at the time. My diamond tiara was not on my head. I popped it on one of these statues instead. But then I turned round and quite out of the blue, the statue had gone. The tiara had too. Aha, uh -huh, nodded Shifty. He narrowed his eyes. That statue, I bet, was our thief in disguise. So what did it look like, this statue? Sam cried. Just black, white and statuey. Lady Kate sighed. A black and white thief, muttered Shifty. No way. I've seen black and white things around here all day. How robbers, a penguin. Then who should race by? That's him. That's the robber, Sam said with a cry. The penguin raced off with a zip and a zoom. Then a tailcoat of flapping dashed into a room. Bad move, whispered Shifty. Now we've got him trapped. Tee hee, giggled Sam. What a bob wing, he clapped. They followed him in. There was no need to run. But suddenly Sam gave a squeak. Uh, which one? Each penguin he saw looked exactly the same. How, so how could they find out which one was to blame? He has tricked us, scowled Shifty. This rubber is trouble. Right, penguins, said Sam. Flip us up on the double. He knew the tiara was not far away. We'll find it, said Sam, if it takes us all day. They searched every waiter, but then the last one quite suddenly winked and broke into a run. My name's Sidney Scarper, the thief cried with glee, and no one but no one's as speedy as me. But out in the hallway the chase now began. Past presents and bunting, they ran and they ran. The robber then saw the front door was in sight. I win, he exclaimed with a hoop of delight. But as cheeky Sydney raced through the posh hall, he suddenly tripped up on Barnaby's ball. Oh no, shouted Sydney. He tumbled and slid. And what do you think shot out from under his lid? The sparkly tiara threw off through the air. Hey, Barnaby, catch it, cried Quifty. Shifty, quick there. 
and everyone gasped as the pup leaped up high and rescued the jewels with a blink of an eye. Oh, Barnaby, Lady Kate beamed, clever you! And she thanked Sam and Shifty for helping out too. She glared down at Sydney, who looked very sad. I'm sorry, he stifled. I've been really bad. I shouldn't have robbed you, it's wrong. Now I see. Besides, the type tiara looked rubbish on me. You promise, Sam nodded. You'll make a new start. I promise you, Sydney cried. Flipper on heart. And then to make up for the bad thing he'd done, he piled up the dishes and washed every one. And that's the end. I'll see you next week. Thank you.